Hi everybody, so today I'm going to do my September favourite. I'm so excited. I'm drunk. Mama! Hi everybody, today I'm going for my September favourites. I'm so beyond excited to do this. I feel like just yesterday I put my August favourites and it's all going so quick. Pretty soon it's going to be 2016 and like my mum was telling me today, I was like, oh my god, so soon. We've only got like three months left and we'll be in 2016. It's pretty exciting. So, and I have a lot of new items which I put in the video. I've kind of got like a lot of items which I had and then recently been like, oh yeah, I remember I had that and then like recently started loving it again. But let me stop talking without further ado. Let's get started. So the first item I'm going to talk about, you know, I took my trash about this and now I love it. This is the Gerald Cosmetics Star Powder. This is in the shade Lucy. Now Lucy I've been feeling, Marilyn on the other hand, I don't know, it's too much of a yellow gold for me, I don't know if I will ever like that but, you know, I decided I'm going to give this one a try, so, you know, where there's a wall, there's a way, Jesus made a way, so I'm going to make a way for you. So this is an amazing highlight, as you can see, it's like this amazing like pinky colour, it's what I've got on today, it's good, like, when I've got on something like I've got today, it's just nice to add a bit of glitter and a tiny bit of colour, something that you wouldn't wouldn't I really expect, I absolutely love this. I still got the GC in it. So I literally just did one swipe for you guys to see this. It reminds me of, is it pink colour by Bobby Brown? I'm not sure, it's one of the Bobby Brown highlights it reminds me of, but I think it's lovely. I didn't like it at first because I found that the both of them, like when you put them on, they just look really streaky. Like it just looked like I had a streak of highlight and like it wasn't blending in or it wasn't moving and like it just looked flaky like I could just peel it off with my finger. But I don't know what happened. It just wanted to fix itself up, it wanted to behave and then one day I just popped it on and I was like, oh, 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 oh. And it was just popping. Like I said, Marilyn. I don't know if we're ever going to make that happen. What was that Marilyn? Marilyn, I don't know if that's ever going to happen. I'm not going to lie. I just don't like it in comparison to Lucy. But I absolutely love Lucy. If I was to recommend one of their, their star powders to you, this is the one. And this is probably the one that's best for black girls as well. Because it's nice. It really suits that rich golden skin tone. And it's going to give you a lovely, lovely glow. I'm really feeling it today. I'm not lying. So next up, I have the Coco Lashes in the style Misha. I think you can pretty much see it. They're really like a nice flirty style. They basically get ones that just popped off heels like I can't even hold on for dear life. They're pretty much like the other wispies that were in a day to day but they're a bit more flirty. I would want even a tiny bit more drum with these, I'm not gonna lie. So I might buy like another two pairs and maybe double them up. Oh my, like, I, I like, if you do not know about this one, oh, I don't know what you've been doing if you do not know about this foundation. L'Oreal True Match gives me so much immense happiness that like I, I I can't even put it into words like when I first started on YouTube everybody used to talk about this foundation and how it was nice like it was nice because it was cheap it was a really good foundation blah 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 funny story as to how I acquired this foundation actually last November I went to New York on a uni trip and I don't know what it was like I just didn't sleep I think we got to bed at about midnight, we'd been to Times Square with that, this was like our first actual day in New York. We got to bed and we were like at like 11.30, we were in our hotel room or whatever, so at 12 we were like, yeah, night night. And I probably slept for like one hour, I could not sleep, I couldn't sleep. I was literally just sitting there and I was like, what am I going to do, like, I'm awake, I'm in New York, like, let me like, let me do something, like I honestly, it was the weirdest thing I ever did in my whole life. I didn't have internet, you had to buy internet for a day and it was like $16 for a day so I was like okay if I buy internet I'm gonna buy internet on a day when I'm really not gonna use it and I figured I really need to use it now because I need to know who's awake so I get the internet I buy the booster whatever and I'm like yes go on snapchat I don't know why I thought to go on snapchat and I see my friend Joanna in the gym I think she put like 3 a.m. or whatever awake in the gym and I was like Pfft. and literally I had like no makeup on I had my glasses on I had my scarf my silk scarf you know keeping the edges right so I message her and I'm like um are you up like is this current like are you really in the gym right now she messaged me back in like two minutes and I'm like this is my hour let's do this 
So I've got my scarf on with my edges resting like Jesus on Easter Sunday. I'm literally pajamas and I've got like these fluffy socks. I was like, hell no, nah, I'm going. I can't even put any shoes or nothing. I'm like, where is it? Where is it? She's at first floor. So I go and knock on the door and I'm like, human life. Like I've probably been sitting there for like three hours just like. And half of me was so excited I was in New York, but half of me was just like, and I actually really need to sleep. Like the night before it had been the same story. My dad drove me to Heathrow at like four. Yeah, my dad drove me to Heathrow at 4 and I was probably in my bed from 12am to 3am just chilling. End up going on my phone, Instagram, all that jazz. Back to the story. So she was a roommate of my other two friends, Cassie and Jade. So I was like, well, are they awake? Like, what should we do? And then uh, she was like, let's go and check. So we go in the room, knock on the room. And they're watching TV and I'm like, oh my God, this is like a new world. Like, this is like the 3am club. Everybody awake. So we go to the room and I'm like, what should we do? What should we do? So I'm like... Okay, I'm hungry. Let's go to the drugstore. Like, let's do this. So then we start walking. I've got like slippers and socks. I think I've got like slippers with some boots on or whatever. I take the blanket from the hotel. More walking in the streets of New York, and it's freezing. So we go to Dwayne Reed, and I see the foundation there. And Dwayne Reed, I didn't know it was 24 hour. Thank you. See the foundation there, and then we're just bored. So we're just like swatching it. I'm like, mm, my color eight dollars. I know my sister wanted it. I wanted it, so I grabbed two. Little did I know it will turn out to transform my whole entire being. This foundation is amazing. I feel like I've told the hot, the longest story just to get to that one bit, but this foundation is amazing. If you've got oily skin, I recommend like using a powder throughout the day. I haven't got it now, unfortunately, which is quite sad. But I'm telling you, it's glowy. It like slightly matte. It has just an amazing, amazing finish. I'm in the shade N8. I bought N9 just because I found that N8 is sometimes a tiny bit too dark, so I bought N9, so a tiny bit too light, so I bought N9 so I can just mix a tiny bit of that up in there. So, L'Oreal True Match, go and get your life. Oh, uh, moving on to another foundation. This is the NARS All Day Weightless Foundation. All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I have this on today. I like, I love it so much. Like, as soon as it came out and like the reviews were just everywhere, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get it. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. I didn't even care about reviews. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get it. Yeah, yeah okay, I'm gonna get it. I was like, I love the sheer glow. I still have like the sheer glow, like probably like, that much in my bottle, but I found that for oily girls, it, like it looks banging, but I just get too oily wearing it. So I was like, oh my god, like I heard this was supposed to be a bit, you know, uh, better for girls with oily skin. So I was on it, like went to get matched, and I love it. I have it on today. It's like what I use when I want my skin to be really luminous, really glowy. I love it. Although I do get a tiny bit oily, it's not as bad as with the sheer glow. I tend to get oily on my chin, on my nose, and on my forehead. I have like a little NARS um, translucent powder, and I do touch ups throughout the day anyway. And I always have like a brush brush on me, so that's never a problem to me. For me, like. I'm oily but I'm not incredibly oily. If I find a foundation that perhaps is better to better suited to girls with dry skin and it's quite obvious that it's like not good for oily skin, I won't do it. But if they're like, mm, you know, you can, you can attempt, then I will do it. Like, but this one, everybody said it was for oily skin girls, it's good, it gives you that luminous finish. I would 100% recommend it. I need to get a new bottle actually. Well, moving on, this is the Isla Lash Fix, my saviour. Uh, for the longest time I was using Ardell, see I can never remember the name, the Ardell basically lash glue, the lash adhesive and it ran out. I had like two little tubes that I was like squeezing life out of Then I had one that I bought for my kit and then my sister was leaving for uni and she was like oh yeah I'm going to go to the hair shop tomorrow to buy some lash glue. I was like oh don't bother, like I've got a full bottle or whatever, I give you mine biggest mistake ever could I be bothered to go to the hair shop to buy some more glue no but I was just struggling I was just trying to make a way like squeeze really just hustling with that glue it just won't happen but luckily i went to boots the other day and i saw this um lush glue in here and i used to use this ages ago i remember they sold it in top shop and i went there and they were like oh no we never sold it and i was like no i'm not going crazy i bought this from this shop so yeah it was 275 i bought one for me one for my kit and i just because i desperately needed it and i love this it dries a tiny bit quicker than the ardell as well the ardell um lash adhesive stays white for a longer time and this stays white but like give or take like 15 seconds and like you're all good to go this right here is like an honorary favorite i'm technically cheating because i've used it once but i already know how much i'm gonna love this this is amazing so this is the hnm beauty eyeshadow palette so guys let me tell you a little story so i did a whole video on a first impressions like of the whole line i had like eyeshadow i had a blush i had a bronzer eyebrow pencil eye pencil all that good stuff primer lash glue like i tried a few things from their brand and like 
I had foundation too. So I've got the foundation in a darker shade. Guys, like if I show you how light this foundation was, it was horrendously light. I just thought, like, I bought the darker shade thinking that it would be okay, but not that I'm not too dark. So I figured, oh my goodness, like if they don't have a shade for me, then that's quite bad because a lot of the black girls I know are kind of in my shade range. Oh, it was horrendous. It was horrendously horrendous. Horrendously bloody horrendous. Like I just, I could not do it. And I filmed the whole video, gone back to look at it, obviously like, with the ring light and everything. It, like it looked okay, but I was like, mm. like I was saying in the video, like I know it's light, but I want to try it out for the formula. Like, oh guys, it was horrendous. It was literally like a yellow mask and my neck was just chilling. I was just like, cool. They really need to do some work on that, that's so bad. And so I figured like, I, I wanna really put out good content on my chat content. I really wanna put out good content on my channel. I didn't wanna put that out and like, like just looking crazy in these streets. Like, I, I don't have time for that. In 2015, I don't think so. But the eyeshadow palette is lovely. I did use it and I did a little look. I might uh, do the look in another video to come so that you guys can see it because it's a shame that you guys missed out. I will try and use, I did like some of the items, let me not lie, but overall the line is not, it's not popping. Like I can't open it. Okay, I got it. Like this is a really, 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 really good palette. Like can you just see, it wants to shut itself, it's getting embarrassed. Like look at this, look at this. This is a, uh, like so you've got like a creamy vanilla here you've got like a pinky peach there Th there's got like some shades of like glitter specks in it which i'm just like why would you do that they just ruin the whole palette with that ugly ugly but then there's two like brown bronzy shades here there's an amazing like deep brown coffee brown and then there's this purple which like on camera it's looking very black now but oh guys it's the most amazing deep purple like when you put it on your eyes it's amazing that like, it's intense enough that it looks really dark and smoky but you can see that it's not black like it's got a lot of dimension in it like i said i would do a look on it because i really like the look that i did for that video so you guys can see it this is the uh, ready set glow palette i didn't mention it it's lovely it's 7.99 like you can't beat this this is really good the next thing we are going to talk about are lip products this is the colourpop ultra matte lip this is in the shade trap absolutely love this colour i think i've mentioned it i actually did a two minute review on this if you haven't seen it go and see it and you'll get my idea but but i love this colour i have a little bit of of it on today what i tend to do which is linked to one of my other favourites so let me talk about my other favourite is I use NYX Toast Liner just a dark uh, brown pinky liner just because my lips are quite pigmented so to get it to an even base and then I'll put MAC Hug Me on the top which gives it a nice browny pink and then I'll put Trap on top because obviously it's a liquid lipstick and I like it to kind of set that lipstick in place I'll show you swatches of both so there's Trap there and then there's MAC Hug Me there the colour is looking quite pink, but Hagami is really nice, it's quite brown. I've got it on my lips today, so you guys can see. Combination that I've been wearing with this eye look for like the past two weeks, I'm in love with it. I feel like Kim Kardashian. I love it, it's just so simple, it's easy. Like when I'm in a routine where I can, I have a look that I can just do and I can be out the house really quickly, then I'll try and stick to it. But you know, I love experimenting and I love trying different things, but I like what's been going on here so far. Uh, moving on to something that I randomly just went in the shop and bought just because I had money and it turned out to be A1. Will you guys let me know if there's a two wall palette that I can get to put the shaping powders in? Because I think there's a two wall palette that you can put your blushes in but I don't know if the blush pans are bigger than the powder pans. However, these are quite big. So I have the shade Emphasize and then I have Soft Focus. Emphasize comes highly, highly, highly recommended by Jacqueline here. I love this powder. It's amazing. It's good because it gives me like a glow. I haven't got it on today. I've got soft focus on today. But Emphasize is amazing. I feel like it's got really reflective, like micro particles or something in it. it gives off light. Like your under eyes just look so bright. However, I did not. I wore it yesterday and I did notice that today, yesterday it was fading a little bit. So I don't know if I need to. I didn't bake with it yesterday. I just like kind of just put it on. I don't know if I need to just put more or just it's not very long lasting but but I absolutely love these two powders i would 100% recommend them i think they are 16.50 each i believe let me show you because actually i'm probably need to show you so you can know that you're getting bang for your buck look how big that is it's almost as big as my head it's as big as my head you're getting a lot of value with that like for example the laura mercier powder is 29 pounds 
and these are £16 and you're getting so much product in it. So God, stop, you're hurting your sister, stop. I'm going to put those away before they kill each other. These are the Morphe Individual Shadows, one I'm talking about is Deep Cocoa, this one here. This is such an amazing shadow guys, it's so pigmented, like I absolutely love Morphe brush. On my sister tag video, um, one of the questions was what's your favourite makeup brand? and I just went blank and I said Nars, like I only own like 3 or 4 Nars things and I can't believe I can say Morphe brushes, Morphe brush it. Morphe brushes without a doubt is my favourite makeup brand, like, I'm still waiting for that 35 palette, Linda let me know where you at, okay? But in the meantime, this <laughs> I feel like this one shadow is, is substituting for me not having a bit of a bow palette because it is warm. It's making me feel like I have a palette even though I don't. But I will have that palette soon, in Jesus' name, it's gonna happen. Yeah. I haven't used the rest but I'm pretty much sure they are going to be amazing. This one is straight out of the hood what I'm gonna show you. It's so cracked beyond belief that you probably think like, oh, your favourite is Hoover Dust. Like what? Like, no. This is a Sunkiss Giant Bronzer. I actually bought this in Primark like random ages ago. Like I did my cousin's makeup like maybe a year, two years ago and she came with a bronzer. And I was just like, oh, like I can never find bronzers that are good for like darker girls. I did her makeup and I put it on and I was just like, oh, this is amazing. It's literally like three, four pounds. And like it lasts so long. I'm gonna stop putting this up here because it's literally dropping in my clothes. But it's an amazing bronzer. I've been using it to warm up my face, like the perimeters of my face. I've been liking like looking a bit more like brown. Do you get what I mean? Like I've been liking really warming up the, the outside of my face, the perimeters of my face, and just using that as a blush, a bronzer, everything, multi-purpose. I actually want to shout out this Morphe M310. I think I put it in my last favourite, but I want to shout out again because it's got my highlight on fleek, and for that I really want to say thank you. Love you, Linda. So these are the last two. I'm sorry they're dirty. No, I'm not sorry they're dirty actually. I never get when people are like, oh, I'm sorry they're dirty. Like, it's a sponge, you're not supposed to use it. Oh. So, this is my Ricky Care. I don't know if it's called, it's just called a Ricky Care sponge. I got this in New York on that same wild trip. And I absolutely love this brush. It's this brush, this beauty blender. It's so soft, it's so spongy. I own like three of them. I bought one, I bought two when I was there. Got one for myself, one for my little sister. And I got two more of them. Once I got back and realised how much I love them, like I use Com Gateway like I do to get my Colourpop stuff to get Ricky's NYC to the UK. I am going to New York next year, June or May. I've got it booked, I might just have to change the date, but I'm definitely going. So I really hope the three that I have last me until then so I can go back and buy some more. Actually, my friend is in New York and is leaving in like two days, but she's already gone to Sephora to get me some stuff, so I don't want to send her to Ricky's to get me a sponge, but I might have to. Shout out to love. And then this is the Real Techniques Miracle... Miracle Complexion Sponge. I don't know, like a few months ago, everybody on YouTube just suddenly loved this. And I was like, guys, like, really, where you all been? Like, really, I love this sponge. It's amazing. I have like 100 million. I'm like, I have 100 million. But I use so many on beauty jobs. Like, I have so many. I'm looking at them right there. I have like three of these. I absolutely love them. They're so, so, so spongy. I love that the top is quite pointy, and I love that you've got the flat surface here. I actually don't really use that. For some reason, I don't know why I don't use it. I probably do use it like as an afterthought, like when I'm if I'm oily, I need to just fix it up. I 100% recommend the both of these if you're in the market to get a new beauty blender. I actually have not tried the original beauty blender, and I feel like once I get it, I will love it. But because I've been using these two for so long, I don't really think like I need to have them. I'm probably gonna buy them just for the sake of it. And due to the fact that I love trying new things, so why wouldn't I try the original beauty blender? Do you get what I mean? Like everybody seems to love it, so there has to be a reason that everybody likes it. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. I kind of want to just pick anything up and make this like, mmm, this is my favourite lamp for the month, so I can talk a bit more. But I'm so horrendously tired. Like, literally, I opened the camera and I was like, hi, I'm tired. That was literally how I started off and I had to shake something in me. Like, I'm just so tired. I don't know what it is. Like, I slept at like 2 a.m., let me not lie. As soon as we're done with this, I'm popping these contacts out, ripping these lashes off and i'm going to sleep no i'm not going to sleep i'm in my third day i'm going to do school work let me not lie i really want to hear what you guys have been loving as well for this month i'm so excited i feel like i'm excited about this stuff but you know i want to keep trying stuff so hopefully i will have a um, lot of amazing new things featured in october's favorites oh my god it's so weird october's favorites but yeah I'm not gonna be one of those people that's like, oh my god, it's coming up because everything just moves so fast. You really just have to have a hold on things to be like, oh my god. I really hope you guys are having a lovely day. 
let me know what you've been loving. It doesn't have to be beauty wise. You, you, you could love church for this month. You could have really had an amazing message and you're just like, I've got to tell Vanika about that. So tell me about it in the box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. I feel like I was doing this. Hey, hey. Thank you guys for watching again and again and again. Thank you guys. See you in the next video. Bye.